What is up, guys? I am back with more Spooktober. Uh, today, as you can see, I'm playing Until Dawn, which I've never played, but I know a little bit about it. I've heard it's kind of a story-heavy game, not so much on the action. So this should be a uh, pretty interesting change coming from Doom 3, but uh, looking forward to it for sure. So let's just jump right in. The butterfly effect. Have you guys seen that uh, Ashton Kutcher movie? I actually haven't. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Although I did read that short story, uh, The Sound of Thunder. That's about the butterfly effect, right? Ray, Ray Bradbury. And then a guy literally steps on a butterfly, and that changes the future. You guys should check it out if you haven't. Uh, anyway, so I, uh, I've kind of heard that this is like a... Like it's kind of saying it's like a decision-making game. You could have to kind of make choices that could lead to one character living or one character dying. It's kind of like a, an interactive slasher movie. So uh, we'll see. Should be pretty fun. Uh, only thing is I have to play on my TV, which is over there. So I'm kind of going to be looking this direction for most of the video. So hopefully that doesn't uh, end up looking too weird. But all right, this is this is pretty much what I would expect for like a... A slasher movie. Creepy cabin in the woods. Some teenagers. Yep, seems about right. Man, this is getting me, like, anxious for when winter is going to come here, man. Winter in Chicago is so bad. I'm not ready for it. I'm going to have to try to enjoy fall while I still can. Fall, like I, I might have mentioned in another video, fall is definitely my favorite season. So, got to get all the enjoyment I can out of it. Oh yeah, that's uh, the girl from Heroes, which I was a big fan of that show until it ended up going pretty bad. Oh my god, teenage drama, guys. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, I was like... My my teen years were not like this at all. It, to me, it was not very, uh, not very drama filled like this. Maybe I missed out. <laughs> I can't tell if these faces are like super, like expressive or just like super weird. Am I the only one? Like they, the faces look really weird to me. It's like they're almost super realistic. What's up, Hannah? All right, creepy guy. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. I'm sure it's nothing. Josh. <laughs> Is that someone just passed out? I'm controlling the game now. Oh God. These controls are a little, a little awk. Hello? Can I not talk to the passed out guy? How about you? Use the right stick to look around. Press and hold R2 to pick up the bottle. Nailed it. Jeremiah Crag. That looks like some nice whiskey, guys. Oh, Josh, you have alcohol poisoning. What a goofball. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even better out of it. Oh, snap, come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike XXX. Damn, that is a pro pickup line, you guys. <laughs> you look even better out of it. It's like, I think it's the teeth. I think except for the teeth, they look super real. But the teeth, like, totally <laughs> don't look right. Oh, hell yeah. Guys, I don't think we can show this. I think this is too hot for YouTube. Also, they're probably underage. 
Oh snap with the selfie stick. What are you doing here? Oh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. It's all gonna oh, be Oh snap. Oh snap, when pranks go too far. You guys are jerks. Use the right stick to choose. What am I choosing? Oh, find others, wake Josh. Actually, I did not mean to choose wake Josh, because I don't think he's waking up. It was just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. She just can't take a joke. It was just Some people just can't take a joke. Oh, she literally said it was just a prank. It wasn't around, man. It wasn't serious. You jerk! Hannah! Hannah! Damn. Should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Okay. Action buttons. Oh, shit. All right. Ooh. Okay. Quick time events, guys. It's like playing Shenmue. Uh, safe. I, I'm always safe, guys. All right, I'm paying close attention for those for those QTEs. Oh snap! Uh, follow footprints. I'm scared of noises. Hi, dear. Where are those? Are those like uh, elk? Like reindeer? Oh, snap. Oh, guys, we gotta censor that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but uh, don't don't report my video for language, guys. I don't want the I don't want the YouTube cops coming after me. First with the underage nudity, now with the language. Use the touchpad as shown. Oh, snap. I forgot this thing even existed. <laughs> oh my god. When was the last time you've had to use the touchpad on a PS4 yeah. controller? You can direct the light beam using the right stick. Oh. This is fun. This is just like real life. Using your phone as a flashlight. Is there no, like, run button? Ooh. Okay, okay. Not getting got yet, guys. Okay, we found the walk faster button. Hello? Hello? Totem. Of some sort. Wait, no, 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 no. Pick it back up. Pick it back up. Pick it back up. I think I missed something there. Please. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Indigenous tribe. What? Oh, so this means I found the death totem. So that means I'm gonna die. Oh, but how I play determines whether or not they come true. So maybe I'm not gonna die. You know, it's like uh, only one possible outcome, right? It's like, uh, it's like the Matrix, right? Hannah! Everything's fine. So the girl I'm playing as, this is her sister who got pranked. What the hell? What the hell was that? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Damn, Hannah. It's just teen drama, man. You didn't even see anything. You're just running from weird noises. 
Oh, phone. Now how am I going to have a flashlight with no phone? They're like a fire breathing dragon up there. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Hannah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hannah. I did what I had to do. Oh no! <laughs> I was a bad person for no reason. <laughs> Well, guys, now I think now that push has come to shove, you know what I would do in a life or death situation. I can't be trusted. Oh, snap. Where are we now? Oh, yeah, it's uh, Peter Stormara. I had heard that he was good in this game. So that was a year ago that, that those girls died. Freedom is revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. So is this like uh is he talking to me the player or am I playing one of the characters? Cuz it sounds like he's like breaking the fourth wall at me. I guess so. And I want to help you see it. Through. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, a little terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. <laughs> what a, a nice, right. creepy guy. Okay. Can I look around? Help me out here, Stormara. All right, we got a creepy scarecrow and a house. Okay. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um. I don't know if I would say it makes me happy, but I think uneasy is a little too strong too. Oh look, he's wearing a hat just like me. Um, I think I would say uneasy. That's a creepy scarecrow. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Scarecrow. All about the scarecrow. I think so. I like I like the country. I grew up in in a rural area. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? <laughs> haunted. Uh, I wouldn't care. So the scarecrow frightens you, and yet you don't appear to be bothered by the possibility of the supernatural. I suspect that someone. I mean. It's not that the scarecrow frightens me. It's just that I think it's kind of creepy. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? I think I made him angry. <laughs> There's a lot of rage hiding behind that smile. <laughs> Have you guys seen The Big Lebowski? He was in that movie, too. Played a, uh, a German nihilist. <laughs> he was like... Mr. Lebowski, people cut off your Johnson! 
<laughs> oh snap, late title card? Is it happening? Ooh. We got some we got some theme music on. Oh, late title card, guys. We did it. We made it to the start of the game. Oh, man, we got a whole opening credits here. I don't really want to skip it in case there's any plot or anything. So, uh, we can just talk about how's your day going, guys. How are you enjoying your October so far? Let me know in the comments, as always, if there's any games you want to see. Let me know uh, if you want to see a continuation of Doom 3, maybe some different games. I'm thinking about playing Fear, which is a game that I had a fond... Uh, I had a good time playing that game like 10 years ago. Uh, what else have I been thinking about? There's a bunch of indie games that I've been meaning to try. Uh, I played White Knight last year. That was a really fun, scary indie Today game. Oh snap, we are getting some lore. Okay, glad I didn't skip this. Could they not find the bodies? Not officially, no. there is one they weren't uh, super well hidden. Where, <laughs> where is this bus that takes you to the middle of nowhere? Is this like a skiing lodge bus or something? Alright, this guy's creepy. I already don't like him. Awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals Also, he sounds a little drunk. Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough. Yeah, I don't think if people disappeared and or died at a holiday party, I don't think I would have the same party next year. I think maybe take that one off. Maybe spend it with your family next year, you know? But I guess, you know, if you're mourning, you could kind of need a return to normalcy. I feel for you, Josh. Want to spend some time with your friends? Just share some moments that we'll never forget. For also, this is pretty elaborate. Like, if you were throwing a party, would you make a little video blog and send it to all your friends as like a video invitation? Party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget. All right? What yeah. does partying like porn stars mean? Does that mean they're gonna do it? They're underage, man. That's not okay. Anyone underage watching this? Don't party like porn stars. There's the... Uh, oh, we're back in the credits. <laughs> I thought maybe we were done with this song, but we're back. Sorry, my face is totally blocking these important names. I'm sorry, Graham Resnick. Blackwood Pines, feeling good about this, guys. This is the year. <laughs> We're gonna have a great year. So far, I think there's been about one minute of gameplay. Uh, but you know, I'm not complaining. I'm just soaking up the story, guys. I'm getting that atmosphere going. All right, chapter one, friendship. Oh, see, there's the title right there, and 10 hours until dawn. 
and it looks oh creepy guy with a machete <laughs> still hanging out he hasn't moved since last year all right sam hannah's best friend considerate and adventurous You think she's the protagonist, considering she's like the only, or other than Peter Stormara, she's the most famous person in this? Alright, we have control back, and I think that's as good a time as any to call it for this episode, but don't worry, I'll be back very soon with more Until Dawn. I think I'm probably going to do this more as like a Let's Play thing, get some, uh, instead of doing more cuts like Doom, maybe, uh, just get some solid gameplay of me going through this game. So, as always, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you again soon.